What's up guys? Well, it's time to try a gas station cigar. I grabbed this one first at random. And this is the Swisher Sweets Grape. All right, it was 99 cents for two, as you can clearly see up top here. That makes it 50 cents a cigar. That's a very cheap cigar. It does say Cigarellos on the package. What's interesting is on the back bottom, if you guys can read that, but it says that these cigars are predominantly natural tobacco with non-tobacco ingredients added, okay? So, let's uh, rip into this and see what we got. 50 cent cigar, or Cigarello. Ooh, man, all right. The smell on that is incredible, extremely uh, strong smell. It smelled, you know what's interesting is my first impression was like grape bubble gum. And it's, it's close, it's still grape bubble gum, but it actually is very reminiscent of grape hookah tobacco. I've never done a video on it, but I did smoke a hookah for like maybe four or five months. And that was like 10 years ago. Yeah, very similar. So, small opening. So there's two of them in here. Close that. Take a look at this one. So here is a close-up of the cigar. You can see one end is round and one end is squared off. Kind of a box press. I'm assuming the squared off end goes in your mouth. You know, so it's more convenient to smoke because it's flat. So, I got my match. I got my match box. Let's light this up. See what it tastes like. Oh. The initial flavor was, um, well, it's not, it's not very good, to be honest. It was tobacco, but. All right, so I can taste the, uh, the grape. The tobacco is very dry, like not physically dry. I mean, it's kind of dry, but it has a very dry flavor. The room note is uh, very grape-esque. You can definitely smell the grape, you know, in the air. If you were to smoke this indoors as is, it would smell like grape. Hmm. There's something um, very, very, uh, I don't know, kind of unnatural as far as the flavor there. It is a very low quality tobacco. I'm not sure if the non-tobacco additives include other chemicals like a cigarette does, um, or if they're just referring to the flavorings in here. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, it was kind of hard finding information about these, at least the inside of it. Every, if you type it on Google or look at all these different websites, they'll show all the flavors, they'll talk about it. There's tons of articles on what people do with these uh, as opposed to just smoking them. But there's, there's no information really on the additives that go into it. I don't know if it's proprietary, if the company just keeps it a secret, or if it's public information. I don't know. I couldn't find it at least easily. Also, I am smoking it like a cigar because it's supposed to be a cigar. I'm not inhaling this. Um, yeah, I would imagine from the flavor here it would be pretty rough if you uh, inhaled these. And I'm sure what's interesting enough to me is that I'm, I'm making an assumption that the people who buy these that smoke them right out of the package uh, for the tobacco probably do inhale them. Um, they're probably cigarette smokers that occasionally just want something different i guess and they just they try these instead but they're not really meant to be inhaled like this <laughs> i will say it's a it's a light pack and um there's perfect smoke output as you can see here it's also burning perfectly well which is nice so the construction is fine because it is a chopped tobacco, I can't imagine the, um, you know, the ash holding on very long. So I am tapping it just because I don't want it on my clothes. Uh, yeah, um, it's not that good uh, compared to most of the cigars that I'm used to smoking, long filler cigars. 
the, just the quality of tobacco is very, very low, and it just has a, it has some kind of an off flavor. Not the grape, but there's something else there. The tobacco flavor isn't like all the natural tobacco flavors I've had. Now, obviously, there's different types of tobaccos. There's different drying processes, and that, you know, um, changes how the tobacco f tastes. But there's a general just tobacco flavor thing, uh, and it's not the same with this. You know what I mean? So it just it just tastes like a very processed tobacco, like a cigarette would. Um, but again, I have no idea what additives are are in this. So uh, yeah. Also, it's really drying my mouth out, unlike a lot of different cigars. I'm just gonna sit back and uh, smoke this down to the bottom. You know, when I feel I'm done, and I'll get back to you. Let you know I thought. So see you then. Okay, I'm definitely done. Um, it's been about maybe like 10 minutes. It really didn't last too long. Um, it's already kind of hot in the mouth and the flavor's blown out. Uh, actually, after I put this out, I want to show you that because it is chopped tobacco, I mean, pretty much every puff I was getting little bits falling out of the end. You know what I'm saying? So that's one inherent problem with a chopped tobacco cigarello is that stuff gets in your mouth as opposed to uh, long filler cigars where it's just, you know, full size leaves that are rolled together. Not to say you can't get a little piece in your mouth, but it's, it doesn't happen quite frequently. In fact, it's kind of rare. You get little bits of tobacco in your mouth if it's properly cut, you know, and you blow those little pieces off. But with this, every time I'm touching it, I'm manipulating the end and those little pieces are just falling out into my mouth, which is unpleasant. So. Um, although it's not the worst thing in the world, it certainly wasn't pleasant. It's not something that I would do on purpose. If I wasn't making a video on it, I would never smoke these again. Um, the grape flavor is basically there to try to mask the poor quality of the tobacco. If there was no flavoring here and it was just the tobacco itself, it would just be horrific. It would be unsmokable. So they pump these things with the flavoring to try to make it, you know, somewhat pleasant to smoke. Uh, it's an interesting concept to have, you know, a very strong grape flavor with tobacco. But if you want to have that grape flavor, I would recommend some Kool-Aid or some grape gum or something else instead. Um, I definitely would not suggest these to be smoked as is. They do a great job at what they do, and, and people buy them for other reasons, as we know. And that's fine for that, I guess, suppose. But as a cigar, as a cigarello, definitely gets a thumb down. Um... Went in with no bias, you know, I, I mean, obviously we all assume that super, super cheap cigars are going to be junk, and generally speaking, they are, but I wanted to try all the, the different ones here and a little variety just to see for myself, you know, it's not good to just assume things all the time just because a bunch of people say, yeah, that's not good, maybe you'll like it, there's people out there that will still like this, I don't. Now, although I didn't like this, I do enjoy occasionally a flavored cigarello, so it's not... It's not the fact that it's a flavored cigar that I don't like because there's companies like CAO, for example, makes fantastic flavored cigarellos. My wife recently tried a uh, Nub. Nub makes cigarellos now. The I think there's an espresso, a macchiato or something, and a latte. Fantastic, wonderful coffee flavors there, but good, you know, high quality tobacco. Um, the only positive I could say about this is the fact that it is 50 cents each and it burned fine and there was great smoke output but other than that the flavor was off-putting to me the grape was a little bit too much in my face that, that flavor was just uh sickening after a while the first first couple puffs um i could barely taste it and uh, the more i smoked it the more that came through and it just became a little bit too much again with the grape flavor I just don't want it in a tobacco product. So that's a personal preference. If you like grape tobacco or grape flavored tobacco, then perhaps this is something that you might enjoy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.